all right, I might try and call it at like, um, I might say like nine minutes, like that. I'll just go like, yeah. we're at nine minutes yeah. and then we know we kind of have to like wrap up then. For he has said, I will never leave him nor forsake him. Yeah. From there? Yeah. All right. All right. Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. We're going to dive right into the Word of God today. So why don't you grab your notebook, grab your pen, grab your tea, grab your cup of coffee, whatever you do, whatever you're doing right now, let's get ready to dive into the Word of God. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me. And that's found in Hebrews 13, verse 5 and 6. We are almost wrapping up the week. Not quite, almost wrapping up the week on the podcast. It has been so fun to get to chat with you, Ro. You are just full of wisdom. It's been so cool. We've just been kind of chatting about like the confidence that God puts in us as we step Mm. out and do things. And it's like your story, your ability is like, so powerful anointed i just love when i see people like yourself going i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna step (laughs) out just gonna give it a crack i think um it's a good reminder that you know our journey is is also someone else's journey totally and the knowledge that we have might be different to other people's knowledge as well sometimes i think about the fact that you know i've had a life i've lived a life of 44 years And there's a lot of journey and a lot of things that have happened in that life. And I forget that, you know, not everyone has done what I've done. Not everyone knows what I do. And so when it comes to being part of a podcast and sharing God's word, I forget that, you know, I might have a perspective that someone else doesn't and and vice versa. And, And that everything that we learn in our life can bring life for others. Totally. And I, and I know for me, And I'm excited about tomorrow's episode because as a little sneak peek, everyone get ready to listen to tomorrow's episode. Ro is sharing a little bit of her testimony and I'm so excited to hear it. But for me, as someone who's grown up in church, as someone from the moment they were born has like lived on a pew, like I, (laughs) I love hearing your point of view because my experience of like a first love of God or like my experience of like knowing God is so different to yours yeah. because like like you get to articulate things that I could never articulate. You've experienced things that I could never experience and that is the power in everyone's testimony and sharing it. So I won't say too much more. We're going to unpack <laughs> it tomorrow. So make sure you get – you. well, make sure you're subscribed. If you click the little button to follow us on Spotify, on Apple, it means you get notified. So do that now. Make sure you get notified for tomorrow's episode. It's going to be fantastic. So we're looking at Hebrews 13 verse 5. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never – Actually, I'll just say that again. So we're looking at Hebrews 13 verse 5. Oh, man, I love this verse. Mm. It is so comforting to know that God will never leave us or forsake us, that he's our helper, that we have no reason to fear. As someone who, like, struggles with overwhelm and getting stressed and a bit can get a bit anxious sometimes, like, that is the exact thing that you need to hear isn't it yeah it's it's the words that you if you were to go to someone and say hey i'm struggling like you want them to go hey i'm not going to leave you i'm going to be here with you through it all like i'll protect you like there's nothing that can go wrong when you're in my in my presence i guess so it's like everything that i need to hear is like encapsulated in this verse yeah it's true and i know that Um, and I'm probably jumping a little bit ahead here, but I know that there's people that have been in situations where they've been let down by others and, you know, their parents have walked out on their life. They've lost, you know, a partner has moved on or, you know, they've experienced loss in their Mm. life and being able to trust that God is going to stick with you through everything can be a little bit difficult. Totally. But it's so cool. Like, like, you're so right. It, it can take time to understand mm. this. And I don't even know if I will ever understand 
fully that yeah. God will never leave me because I'm human. I always go, oh my gosh, nah, it's too ba- too much <laughs> this time. But actually to know like God will never leave us. He will never yeah. forsake us. Like, I don't know. I think we were kind of talking about it a bit earlier and, you know, we were kind of saying that like this verse just shows us how how deeply God's love for us goes. Like we have this expectation that like God is kind of sitting there, right, up in heaven waiting for us to make a mistake, waiting for us to fail, waiting for us to do something where he'll go, oh, you messed up. Come on. Yeah. Time to, I time told to, you. I told you. But like what God's looking at isn't that. God is just looking That's for right. our hearts to keep turning to him. You know, God, God is like always waiting for us because he wants to be there for us and he wants us to like turn to him. And so often we we warp this understanding of God and his character for us. But what he, who he actually is, and I love that it says we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. And I love that last line, what can man do to me, right? <laughs> How often do we fear man? How often do we fear the things that are going to happen in the world? How much life do we waste stressing about things that never happen? Just, yeah. It's so true. And and even like the fear of man is so null and void mm. because it really doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, we're called to share the good news, right? We're called to make disciples. Yeah. And sometimes that fear of man stops us from sharing the love of God. Totally. And if we can get past that fear, if we can 100% believe and speak out over our lives that that God is with us, then mm. then that's part of getting over that fear of man. Totally. No, that that's so true. Yeah, I just think that when I when I read this, you know, I know that I've made mistakes in my life. I know that I will continue to make mistakes. You know, it's that thing of being like when God, when Jesus died on the cross for us, he knew every sin we would make. He knew every bad choice we would make. He knew every single failing we would have, but he still chooses to love us. Yeah. And he still chose to die on a cross for our sin. And I don't know. It just, we talked about it a little bit on, I think it was Tuesday. And it's that whole idea of like, if I believe the Bible, If I believe that God is who he says he is, like these words that he say aren't just fun quotes that we say because it's encouraging. Mm. Like this is truth. Yeah. This is, this is the literal word of God. Like if we just pause on that for a second, right? This is the word of God. Like, isn't it mind blowing that the Lord would literally give us his like words, his direction, his 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 instruction, his instruction. Manual. <laughs> exactly that like he chooses to say, I will never leave you, I will never abandon you. We can say confidently that God is my helper. I will not feel what can man do to me. Yeah. Like I don't know, when we were discussing it earlier, we were kind of talking about this idea and I mentioned earlier that God's like kind of waiting for us to fail, waiting for something to happen so that he can turn around and 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 pour out his wrath upon us. But we were saying how often do we feel like when we haven't spent time with God, when we haven't read his word, when we haven't prayed, when we feel far from God, like like he's just kind of waiting for us to like let me say that again. When we feel far from God, we're going to open our Bible and God's going to be like, where have you been? Why? Mm. Like, why? Like, how dare you? It's really hard to take that first step. Totally. Sometimes there is, and I guess not to get too like spiritual, but like there is a spiritual world, right? Yeah. There is a battle going on for your heart, for your mind, for your world, for your family. And so often we just take it as like, face value but not actually go like hey there's a wrestle going on like there is there is a there is a like spiritual world right where 
There is an enemy who doesn't want me to open my Bible. Yeah. There is an enemy who doesn't want me to trust that when I do open it, it's not going to be a God of wrath and anger, but that it's a God who loves you, who protects you, who never fails you. Like, like that is God's heart for you. Yeah. That is who God is. And I think that today, like if you're feeling far from God, if you're feeling like you haven't spent time with him and you're so nervous just to take that step, I want you to know, like, God won't fail you. God's not going to turn his back on you. Like, in this verse where it says, we can confidently say God is my helper. Like, that is who he is. I say, God, help me to spend time with you. Yeah. God, help me to not be fearful of man. Help me to step out boldly and confidently. And um, just like all of those things, don't let the fear, don't let the, the fear of man, the fear of the world, the fear of God, God's... I don't know, um, anger that you might be fearful of. That's not who he is. Yeah. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, he doesn't abandon you. Even, even when we have been reckless and not spent time with him and we've gone against him, his heart is just that we would turn back to him yeah. every single time. Oh, so true. And I love what you said about just saying to God, I need your help yeah. to get past He's this. He's a helper rut sometimes it's just a little rut we're a bit tired and you know I'd rather sleep in than than spend time in the word Mm. or that day or whatever and then the guilt builds up but the guilt's not from God totally the guilt is is something that's just going to stop you from Mm -hmm. getting closer getting back to closer with God totally and so if we can say oh God I feel like I have failed I 100% believe that God would be like you haven't failed. I still love you. I just want to hang out. Yeah. (laughs) Just come back to me, you know? Oh, I love this verse. For God said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. So we can confidently say the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Whether you're listening today and maybe it's been a hot minute since you've spent time in your Bible. Maybe it's been a while since you've prayed. Maybe you just feel so fearful that God is just waiting to be upset with you. I want you to know that is not the case. In this verse, God says he will never fail you. He will never abandon you. I want you to remember out of today's episode that God is your helper. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're fearful of, whatever the thing is that's stopping you from opening your word, from praying, God wants to help you through it. We don't need to fear man. We don't need to fear anything because God is for us. He will never fail you and he will never abandon you. I hope that you are filled with confidence knowing that today, that God is so for you and that no matter what happens, he is your helper. I hope that today's episode has left you so encouraged and I cannot wait to wrap up the week with Ro tomorrow. Until then, I hope you're able to find moments of joy.